In this lesson, we're going to calculate the area of parallelograms and trapezia. To calculate the area of a parallelogram, we're going to look at it not as a parallelogram, but as a rectangle, where we can move this triangle with a 90 degree angle, because we're going vertically down, so it fits perfectly on the other side. And this right angle becomes this right angle. And this length becomes this length. What we have now is a perfect rectangle, which is 6 by the same perpendicular height of 4. So it is 6 centimetres multiplied by 4 centimetres, which is 24 centimetres squared. For question B, we've got a trapezium. To calculate the area of a trapezium, we're going to double it. What I mean by this is, we're going to copy this trapezium here and we're going to flip it around and put it on the end. So this side becomes this side, this side becomes this side, and this length is this length. So what we have now is a perfect parallelogram. These two sides are parallel and equal, and these two sides are also parallel and equal. And we know a parallelogram is simply the base times the height. Well, if this is 4, this must also be 4. So we have the base of 8 at 4 multiplied by the height of 5. And this will tell us the entire area of this parallelogram. And we don't want the entire area, we only want half of that. So we're going to divide it by 2. So it is 8 out of 4, which is 12. 12 times 5 divided by 2. 12 times 5 is 60 divided by 2. So it is 30 centimetres squared. So now we understand where these formulae come from. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out mathematics.com for a full lesson and worksheet.